three children approaching. They're here. Welcome to the British Museum. You are about to begin an incredible journey through the darkened, night-filled galleries of this great building. Let me introduce myself to you. I'm Agatha, your tour guide. I'm much like the tour guides you see around during the day, except I'm utterly dead. But you weren't expecting that, were you? Now, I'm looking for three brave children to become guardians of the museum. Do you think you have what it takes? Yes. Well, we'll see, shall we? Now, what are your names? Damien. Tyrion. Raj. And where have you come from? Hounslow. Now, you must be wondering why you've been summoned here in the middle of the night. Listen carefully. You have just one night to discover the secrets and mysteries of a relic held deep within these walls. You will face three challenges. Each challenge will unlock a vision about your relic. Pass a challenge and you will all see the vision. Fail and the vision will be revealed to just one of you and you will have only their memory to rely on. Your knowledge of the three visions will be tested in the final battle when you come face to face with the Dark Lord. Succeed and you will become guardians of the museum and receive the Golden Scarab. Fail and you will become relics yourselves and part of the museum forever. Agatha! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. That's the Dark Lord. He knows you're here and he'll send his dark forces to seek you out. Now, keep an eye out for the shadows. Follow me. Run as fast as you can, Agatha. My dark forces will seek you out. <laughs> Goodness me. Let's wait here for a moment. But keep your eyes peeled. Remember, those dark forces can appear from anywhere at any moment. So stay alert. Now, to learn more about your relic, you must first unlock a vision. And to do that, you must complete a challenge. So, hold on tight. Quickly, quickly, we haven't much time. Are you ready? Yes. yes. You're going to love this. Off we go. <sighs> oh, goodness me. Now, where are we? Oh, I recognise this. This pyramid belongs to the Aztec god Tlaloc. Now, he was the god of rain. Very moody. We mustn't wake him up. Your first challenge is to complete this pyramid puzzle. Now, the colours on the sides will only light up if you connect them correctly, but beware. If you hear a thunderclap, that means you've woken Tlaloc. So you must run over to these plinths, lie down and freeze. The clock will stop. He might come in and cause all sorts of havoc. And beware, one of you could be picked out at random at any time and taken out of the game. Once he's gone, the clock will continue. Now, you must have a completed pyramid at the end of 90 seconds in order to pass. Now, if you pass, all three of you will get to see the vision. If you fail, I'm afraid only one of you will see the vision, chaps. Does that all make sense to you? Yes. Yes? Then you can go in three, two, one, go! Jolly good. Come along. Now, work together with the team on this one. Oh, gosh, this one, this Which one. one goes down first? Which one? Which okay. way is the Make sure the sides match. Which one's Very important. Ball? Jolly good, no, Raj, carrying that one on his own. Quickly, 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 we're against the clock on this one. OK, one, two, three. That's Tlaloc, quick, quick, hide. Stay completely still so he can't see you. He's coming, he's coming. Oh, dear. <laughs> he's trapped Raj. He's out of the game. It's up to you two. Come on. You have to do without him. Come along. Two seconds, keeper against the clock on this one. All yellow, all blue, Tommy Good. Oh, quick, hide, hide! Oh, no, you were nearly there. Oh, you're doing so well. He's going for Tyone this time. Raj, you're back in the game. Oh, oh you're on, staring for my game. Come along. Make Remember left. where the pieces yeah. fell. And then he's very, very mean. Yep. Again, run, 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 hide! Stay completely still, freeze! <laughs> Damien's gone, Tyone, Raj, you'll have to work together. As been quick as you can, build it back up, that's right. He is a very it's mean Lord. god, that's for certain. Right, so all blue on that side, jolly good, one, two, three, four, five. Come along, oh, that's not next, I don't think. 
30 seconds to go. You can do this, team. Come on. You're nearly there. Come on. Oh, watch out. He's coming. Oh, no. As quick as you build it, he destroys it. It's all down to the two of you. It'll be a miracle if you do it now. Flick the other one. Hey, hey, back. You. you can do this. Build it back up. Quick, quick. Time's running out. We make sure all the colours match. No, so, that's it. Jolly good. Yeah. You can't afford for it to be destroyed this time. <laughs> Not again. I don't believe it. Boys, you can do this. Ten seconds to go. Come along. Ten. Eight. Come along, you can do this. Six. Come on. Five. Quick. Three. Two. One. Jolly good work. Come over here. We have the green, we have blue. We have... Re you have done incredibly well. And that means all three... Three... Help. One, two... Where's the other one? Help. Where are... Which is... What, what are you doing lying down at a time like this? Come along. <sighs> right, come on, quickly, quickly. Oh, team, you must be very pleased with yourselves. Right, now, you know what that means? We get to see the vision. All three of you get to see the vision, which will help you learn about the story of your relic. Now, to unlock the vision, we have to get into a certain formation. Damien, can you come over here? Raj, can you come here? Jolly good. I will say a simple rhyme. Just follow my lead, OK? Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. The vision begins in ancient Egypt, 2,000 years ago. We're moving. I'm sensing a vast body of water. We're travelling down the River Nile. I see a building. It's the great temple at Karnak. A priest. I'm getting the name Hornechetev. This is a man of great importance. He serves the Egyptian god Amun. Ah, he's in a great deal of pain. Death. The priest is near death. His life in this world is over, but this isn't the end. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. So, we've all seen the first vision. Yes. What do you remember, chaps? We're that in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt. How, how many years ago? 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago. Jolly good. There was a palace mm -hmm. near the river Nile. Now, what was that called? Was it Karak? Uh, this priest, he used to worship this god. Anu. Anu. And then the priest's name was... Oh, it starts with an H. Starts with an H. Hi. Maybe something to check in future visions. Now, what had happened to this priest? He died. He died. Well, keep that in your heads, chaps. It'll come in very useful for when you face the Dark Lord. Did you hear that? Yes. We're not safe here any longer. On to your next challenge. Follow me. So, all three of you have seen the vision, but will you remember everything you have seen? Hey, <laughs> that was a dark force, chaps. We'll have to escape through here. Follow me. Let's wait here for a moment, chaps. We only just escaped that one. How do you feel? You're all right? Scared. Scared. We must remain alert if we're to stand any chance of making it through to see the Dark Lord. Now, it's best to keep moving, chaps, so on to your next challenge. Hold on tight. Come on, come on. Are you ready? Yes. Good, let's go. Oh, oh goodness me. We're... Where, where are we? It's I really rather small, you. isn't it? What? Oh, I see. Oh, goodness me. Well, we are in ancient China. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. oh, do take a seat, chaps. But as well as being beautiful, ancient China is also very mysterious. In fact, this room holds a dark secret. Now, the spirits of four dragons have been trapped, and it's your challenge to free them. Now, they've been trapped in four of these blocks. Now, to free them, take the block, 
place it on these plinths, and then give it a jolly good chop. If there's a dragon inside, it will look rather like this. And the spirit will fly out and light one of these lanterns. Now, you must have freed all four dragons at the end of 60 seconds in order to pass. Who's going to go first? You're going to go first, Hyom. Jolly good. Stand up. You can go in three, two, one, go. Go on, Tyrone. That's it. Give us some encouragement. Come on. Jump it. Oh, oh, bad luck. Come along. Come on. Come along. Go, 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 go. Hiya. Yeah. So jolly good. That's one. Disappointing. You were so close. You did really well to free three dragons. But I'm afraid you needed four in order to pass. OK, so that's a fail team, which I'm afraid means only one of you can see the vision. Now, who's that going to be? Raj. It's going to be Raj? OK, in that case, I need to send the two of you back to the museum. So, hold on to the torch and keep an eye out for the dark forces. They'll be on their way. <sighs> Can you hear that? Yeah. So, Raj, you and you alone are going to see this vision. Do you have a good memory? Yeah. Hold on to the torch and simply do as I say. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. We're at the great temple at Karnak. Look, there lies the dead body of the priest. An Egyptian embalmer. He must preserve the body for the afterlife. I see a long metal hook. He uses it to pull out the dead man's brain through his nose. There's something else sharp. A flint blade used to slice open the skin and remove the internal organs as they're the first thing to decompose. The priest's body, along with his liver, lungs, stomach and intestines, are placed in salt called natron. This must dry them out. They will remain covered for 35 days. The image is fading. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. <sighs> right. So, Raj, you and only you have seen the second vision. Now your entire team is relying on you. Team, where are you? Thanks. Quick, 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 come in, come in. Right now, tell them everything that you remember. Do you know the uh, priest that we saw in the first vision? Yes. Yeah. When he died, this man, he had this uh, thing that he put into his nose and he's like put, getting a rock and smashing it in. He got this uh, sharp splint, cut, cut his tummy apart and got this organ out and put it in this act. Eternal salt. Then he got all that salt and he put it all over his body. The body was to lay there in the salt for 35 days. Well, you've remembered ever such a lot, Raj. You've got a very good memory, haven't you? Yeah. Now, what do you think the relic might be? The mummy or the um, statue that the priest, I'm not sure his name, is worshipping. Well, maybe these questions will be answered in the third vision. OK? So keep all that knowledge locked away. It will come in very useful when you meet the Dark Lord. And remember, you will have to answer three questions correctly to receive the Golden Scarab and become guardians of the museum. Fail, and you will belong to him forever. Now, we're not safe here any longer. On to your next challenge. Follow me. You have a long night ahead. Will you remember everything Raj told you? <laughs> Remember, the dark forces can hear our every sound. So if we want to stand a chance of seeing the third vision, we must keep quiet. 
Now, look at this beautiful feather bonnet. But these feathers have a special meaning. Each one is tipped with a lock of hair taken from the scalp of an enemy slaughtered during battle. Oh, I guess, ouch. Now, your next challenge takes place in North America. Are you ready for it? Yes! Right, hold on tight. Come on, quickly, quickly. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Jolly good, let's go. Goodness me, do sit down. Now this is a teepee, home to many Native American people. But today, it will serve as the setting of your last challenge. Now I'm going to call on the ancestors of the Native American people. They will send us three objects. You have to decide what they use those objects for. Now for each object, I will give you three definitions. You have to decide which one is correct. Now once you've made your decisions, we will see how many you got right. You must get at least two right in order to pass, team. I shall begin. Ancestors, please send us the first object. Oh. Here we go. Take a look at it. What do you think it might be? Something like a musical instrument. Well, let Concert. me give you some definitions of what it might be. Now, was it an ancient water pistol for adults, which works by blowing in one end and squirting water out of the other? I don't think it's a water pistol. No, no, no. Is it a device for smoking fish? Fish no, can't smoke. It means that like you're smoking fish. Exactly, smoking as a type of cooking. A pipe that was used for ceremonial rituals. Ritual one. I yeah. think so. <laughs> Do you all agree? Yeah. Ritual. Yeah, ritual. Ritual. And we think it's. You think it's a pipe. A pipe that was used for ceremonial rituals. Now, what's making you think that? Um, because of the um the shape of it, and, and I think that you know these feathers. They're yes. like they could be. I'm not sure, but they could be a sign of um ritual. Yeah. Jolly good. So you think it is a pipe that was used for ceremonial rituals. Happy with that? Yes. Jolly good. Then let's move on to the second object. <sighs> Ancestors, please send us the second object. <sighs> Look at this interesting thing. Wow. There you go, Tyone. Amazing. There you go. Take a look. Pass it along, mull it over. <laughs> now, let's see what the definitions are. So, is it a tool for grooming horses? I don't no, think it would be, because it's got because bells it's horns, on it. Yeah, and it's got horns. And, and if you do that, it doesn't really do anything for it. Okay, is it a tool for cleaning teepees? No, it just possibly through. could be. It could just rip through the sheets if we use the yeah, horns. Yeah, with the stuff. sharp edges. Or is it a headdress worn by a male warrior? Yeah, yeah. it might yeah, be, because, yeah, because it's got bells and, and the horns. Like, yeah, head. it's a headdress. Yeah, headdress. Yeah. Headdress? Yeah. yeah. So you think it's a headdress worn by a male warrior? Yes. OK, then we shall place that there. OK, are you ready for the third object? Yes. Ancestors, please send us the third object. Look at this beautiful thing. I'll be very careful with it. Wow. OK. Let's take a look at these definitions. Now, is it a quiver for holding arrows. How can they put the arrows in? Because that would be like the arrows just go through and they'll just fall. Is it a decoration hung in teepees such as this to ward off evil spirits? I yeah, so. possibly because you could hang it like there in the and middle. Down. And I bet the uh, evil spirits are kind of scared of the beads. Yeah, okay, it's or it house. could be a hair ornament called a wapeg knacker, which was used to hold feathers in place. How would you put it in somebody's hair? I don't understand that. Or a decoration. No. A decoration, just... You, you would I think it's going to be a decoration. They could just, like, get something decoration hard. Decoration, Rog? Yeah, yeah. Decoration. decoration. Or, uh, they could just get all three of you going for decoration? decoration. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Yeah. So decoration. you're thinking it's a decoration hung in teepees to ward off evil spirits? Yeah. And pass it to me. Place that there. Put your guess here. So, you've chosen all three. Now, remember, you must have at least two right in order to pass. OK? Fingers crossed, chaps. So, this first one. You thought it was a pipe that was used for ceremonial rituals. OK, let's find out what it actually was. It is... Yes! yes! That's a very good start. Now, you thought this was a decoration hung in teepees to ward off evil spirits. Now, are you happy with that? Yeah. Let's see what it was. <laughs> oh. A hair ornament called a wapegnaka, which was used to hold feathers in place. Oh, team, that's disappointing. Okay, so that's one right and one wrong. 
It all hinges on this one. Now, you thought that this was a headdress worn by a male warrior. Yes. Now, are you happy with that choice? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Let's find out what it was. It was indeed a headdress. Yes. That's too right, which means yes. you've passed and you all get to see the vision. Oh, goodness me, I'm so pleased. Right, let me just come over there. You stay there, chaps. OK, I'll come in here. We squash in. Now, you're going to hold on to my torch and simply do as I say. OK? Yes. Jolly good. Secrets and mysteries we are ready to receive. Deep breath in. Hold on tight. Close your eyes and see. The vision begins. 35 days have passed in ancient Egypt. Hornetjetev's body is removed from the salt. Oils. They're rubbing oils into his dead skin to keep it supple. His dehydrated organs are being returned to the body. I'm seeing linen. Amulets are placed beneath the bandages to protect the body in the afterlife. The preparations are complete. Poor Nejatev's mummified body will survive for thousands of years. First in Egypt, and now here at the British Museum. As important in death as he was in life. The images fade. We're coming back to the museum. Back to the museum. Back to the museum. <sighs> right. You've all seen the final vision. Yes. What do you remember? The priest, Hornetjetev, um, they covered him in oil after 35 days. Then they got these wet strips. Linen. Linen. Yeah. Linen. And, and, they, the and they did. And amulets. Uh, amulets in between um, the linen. And they wrapped him all up in that cloth and totally made him into a mummy so he can live peacefully. So what do you think? Your relic is mummy. Hornetjetef. Mummy. The mummy of Hornetjetef. It's taking us a long time to work out what it is, but now that you do know, I hope you remember everything about its story. That knowledge will come in very useful when you meet the Dark Lord. And now we must make our final journey to face him. The dark forces are descending on the great court. Come along, chaps. It's time for your final battle. This way, follow me. This is it. This is your final battle. Good luck. I just have to summon the Dark Lord. <sighs> the moon shines bright and darkness reigns. I bring three children here again. Their minds are sharp, the visions seen. Dark Lord, awake. We challenge thee. You dare to challenge me with these children? They're no match for me. Actually, you know, they've done rather well. Do you really think they have the knowledge to defeat me? What do you think? Yes. Yes! As you wish, let the battle commence. Three visions you have seen about a relic held within these walls. I shall ask you questions about what you have seen. Three correct answers will earn your freedom, and you will become guardians of the museum. Three incorrect answers, and you shall never leave. You will become relics yourselves, and remain here for all time. Your first question. Damien, step forward. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, Damien. Where was the temple in which Ornetitev worked as a priest? Karnak. Let us see. It's the great temple at Karnak. Yes. Correct. Leave and prepare for the next question. That's one question right. Very well done. Raj, step forward. Go, Raj. What was the name of the Egyptian god that Hornetjetev served? Anun. Let us see. He serves the Egyptian god Amun. <laughs> now your teammate belongs to me. 
Raj! It was the god Amun, and you said Anun. We still win this, chaps. Yeah. Just Come need on. to get the next two correct. Yeah. Your third question. Tyone, step forward. Go on, Tyone. What was the name of the salt used to cover the priest's body? <laughs> Pass. Let us see. A salt called Natron. <laughs> I don't believe it! Tyone's gone as well! You've lost two of your teammates. Which means, Damien, it's all down to you. Damien, approach! You need two correct answers to become guardians of the museum. Get one wrong, and you belong to me! How many days was the priest's body left covered in salt? Thirty-five. Let us see. They will remain covered for 35 days. You still need one more, child. Next question. What material was used to wrap around the priest's dead body? <laughs> Pass. Let us see. I'm seeing linen. I win! No! They belong to me forever! No. Agatha, you have failed, and my darkness reigns supreme! I shall return, Dark Lord. More children will come! And I will be waiting. <laughs> oh, I can't believe the Dark Lord won! They were so close! I need more children to fight him. We can defeat him, chaps. Until next time, following on. Tracy Beaker's making trouble over on the CBBC channel right now, followed by all new High Karate Journey to Japan.